Hello, Savita. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Savita, we are doing this interview because you just scored recently your second IM norm already. Uh, and uh, huge congratulations for that. Thank you. But but uh, you played one more event. After that, you are currently in Spain. But you made your IM yeah. norm before this at the Norway Open, uh, where you finished joint second. Yeah. An amazing performance there by you. Uh, and uh, that also pumped up your rating to 2430 approximately, which makes you close to India number three. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not, uh, I don't know, I'm happy about it and uh, I like to play more good chess. Mm, okay. Fantastic. Uh, Savita, uh, let's have a look at your performance here. Uh, this is how you performed in the tournament. Uh, yeah. You had a win in the first round, then a draw, then a win, then a draw. Then you lost a game against Pavel Teklav. But then you drew and then you scored two wins, then a draw against a GM and you won the last round scoring 7 out of 10 gaining 13 elo points uh, a very solid performance uh yeah i mean uh, it, it was it was a good start i mean the start was could have been better because the second round i had a good position against him but then then i messed up mm. uh other than that uh in the first round against pavel i just made an oppositional mistake uh which I shouldn't have done. In the Other than that, I think uh, it was a good tournament for me. Right. And here are some pictures from the event. You're playing there. Uh, and then here you are wearing the same uh, jacket that you are wearing uh, with Pravaha written on your uh, one side. On the other side, it's Vaka written. I think these are the two. Yeah. Uh, people supporting you, two organizations that are supporting you. Uh, so that's very cool. And also this is another picture from the event. And these are the final standings. Galper in Platon won the tournament with 8 out of 10. But then there was a huge tie on 7 points with Pavel Teklav, Vitali Sivuk, Axel Bu and you. Uh, you means Savita uh, and Konstantiv Tarlev. Uh, all scoring seven points. So fantastic. Uh, Savita, I would love to look at a game of yours from this event. Maybe the last round victory, if we can have a look at that, shall we? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's have a look at that game and let me get the chess board. Aha, you know, uh, Savita, I was just recently, I was uh, before we started our interview, I was uh, interviewing a little girl, eight year old girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, I gave her this position, uh, so I sh did not change it. So, would you like to solve it? Why to plan with? Okay. <laughs> ah, this uh, like bishop e four queen the eight rook king seven knight c four. Very quick, very quick check yeah. rook b seven, and and you know she was very smart. She said not first rook a seven because then queen b eight and bishop b eight. <laughs> so first queen b eight. Uh, and you saw it instantly. Uh, just amazing. And made. Okay. Let's go to the game. This one is... You were playing against... Uh, yeah, there you go. Tor Frederick Kassen. And very interesting uh, thing that you were already... You had already scored your IM norm before this game. So how did you approach this game? Because generally people, when they score their IM norms, they become a little relaxed and then they many times lose the last round. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I was happy that uh, I drew my ninth round and I got my norm. Uh, but you know, like when I saw the pairing, I just wanted to play. Like I was, with the, I was going to play with the white pieces and uh, he was playing this way. And so I was... I was just ready to play and uh, 
I was, I don't know. I just played like a normal game. You you did not think too much that oh I made an I am norm or anything. I just you just wanted to play a natural game. Yeah, it's just an I am norm, so it's it's not like you know GM title or something. It's True. When not you a you know you know Savita right now you are at I am strength, uh, and you are saying oh it's just an I am norm. When you will read GM strength and make GM norms, you'll be like oh it's just a GM norm. And then you will be looking. So that's how talented players uh, keep growing quickly. So Sicilian on the board, knight f3, d6. Open Sicilian, she, uh, he went knight f6, knight c Yeah, and uh, this game I was expecting him to play knight c6. Uh, and also it was in a morning round, so I didn't have much time to prepare. And uh, I was not expecting knight out from, from him. So, yeah. So this was a surprise, but I, I believe that generally you would be well prepared against the night off because many players play. Yeah. 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 I, I was just not expecting that. Hmm. From him. Right. So you, you played H3, one of the, I'm, I'm sure one of the many weapons you have against the night off. So H3. Yeah. I play Bishop E3, Knight B3, H3 and all the stuff like, uh, but I know he would have been prepared for me for this, but I just wanted to go for some sideline. So I played h3 yeah okay h3 played and then he uh, came up with the move e5 knight to b3 bishop yeah. e7 bishop e3 all these are theory theory h6 uh, I, I don't know h6 is not a uh, main line like something like bishop e6 i think but at six i was okay i was out prepared from here so from the point of it. Yeah, you're right. Bishop e6 has the most number of games. H6 has around 100, 123 games. Uh, and and some of the strong players who played this are Wesley So, um, maybe Marcus Rager, David Paravian. But yeah, it must not... have been in online chess, right? Uh, these no, games? No. I Pro think yeah. Wesley, yeah, right. Speed chess. Yeah, so. Then this is. The other players have played it in over the board, but yeah, it's uh, not as common as bishop e6. Yeah, okay. So you went g4, which is natural. Knight bd7. a4. This is interesting. How do you decide? Because, you know, why not queen d2 followed by long castle like generally normal or, or that's not... Good. I just wanted to stop b5. Mm. And I don't know. I think. But I know that they used to play a4 in these uh, nights. So. But where to put it was your not king, so... no, uh, Savita? Because now you push g4 also and a4 also. So will you castle short, castle long? Obviously, I will castle long. I will do long castle. You will, like, you uh... will long castle even after a4. Yeah, but you know, if he is not going to play b5, then you don't have to be worry about anything, right? Hmm. True. Oh, yeah. What? Knight of eight. Okay, interesting move. Yeah, knight of eight. Mm -hmm. Did you expect yeah. it? He was playing extremely fast, so I don't have any time to expect him from anything. So. Now, now uh, is a very interesting uh, bit of point. In online chess, this position was reached, reached between Nepo and Carlson. In uh, okay. Legends of Chess. Uh, 2020 they played and uh, your opponent is also from Norway so maybe he was following this game of Magnus yeah maybe that might be one of the reasons so okay you went queen d2 he played his bishop and you just long castled okay fearlessly mm -hmm. for sure Knight came to g6 and this knight is now looking at these two squares which have been slightly weakened because of your move g4. And, and here I played knight d5. Yes, sacrificing a pawn. Uh, you were out of your prep, right? So you were already thinking on the board. Yeah, I, I almost spent 10 12 minutes for this move. Like I was calculating knight e4. Yeah. And there was this big line that I was calculating for the whole moment and I played knight d5. 
and he just played Vishal Deepa in one minute. So, and I don't know, like yeah, but I was calculating this nine IP four, hmm. D four, Vishal Deepa. It's kind of forced, or you can also go back knight f six. Yeah, but then you can just take no? take on like gf six. Yeah. Uh, then take on b seven, I think. Mm -hmm. This looks and good thought, for you. Yeah. So you thought here, bishop d five. And root d5. Mm -hmm. Knight f6. Something knight f6, queen b7. Wow. Okay. Knight d5, queen c6. Like like that Karo Khan variation, no? Queen c6, intermediate before taking. Yeah. And yeah, it's just the same point that you can't, black can't do castle, like, you know. So okay. king f8, queen d5. And something. Okay, now he's go I'm going to play bishop c4. Mm. So you have to play bishop g5 and bishop c4, rook a7, knight d2. Wow, you were calculating all this. Mm. Yeah, and I was so annoyed when he took it in one minute, you know. But this is so brilliant thinking, calculation. Knight d2, you want to put your knight on e4, you have light square control, right? Completely. Yeah, and I saw knight f4 here. Yeah. And first I thought I can play queen c6, but he had queen a8. So and then I was forced to play queen f3. And he, here I saw and I thought, okay, it's, you know, like, uh, I thought it's slightly better for me. And it's also a bit difficult for him to play. Mm. And then I played the, uh, he just uh, spent one minute and then just take one before. So. He just took it and he was like, okay, Savita, I trust your calculation. I don't want to test it. I will take it. And so you took back ED. Yeah. And he went knight d7. Which is logical. I believe castling is very risky, right? Once you have played at 6, maybe g5. Uh, yeah, probably. And also my pieces are good active and I can just push the pawns. Right. So knight d7. Bishop d3. And I assume this should be good for white. Hmm. Knight comes to h4. Okay. Yeah. And now you played queen b4. So, I don't know. It just looks so logical to me. Yeah. And and now the b7 pawn is attacked. Uh, he mm -hmm. can play queen c7. But he went b6. And he's also now, I think, preparing knight c5. Yeah. That's true. You could have also queen. played queen c7. Yeah. I, uh... Okay, it's just a normal game. So. Yeah, so he played here. Queen c7 and you played f4. You, yeah. you know, Savita, you're just playing such natural moves. It feels like, you know, even I could play these natural, natural moves, but actually they are very well thought of, right? Because... This move knight d5 was the start of it. Once you got that in, now everything looks smooth. Yeah, uh, to be honest, knight one, only when I played knight d5, I spent some time. But other than that, like, you know, queen b4, king b1, it's all very logical in this area, like king b1 and all. So I, I did not spend much time, but here f4, I think I spent some time just to calculate knight g2 and Yeah, those. this is the critical move, right? Because in general, they say that in the Sicilian, you mustn't give up your dark squared bishop so easily. Uh, yeah, but here I thought like his king was in center, and uh, and also I I just played f4. Like uh, I don't know what else to do, hmm. so I just played. So you played this, and now uh, e3 is hanging. Did you consider bishop c1 saving the bishop? I thought he can take on f4, knight f4. Yeah, take. But isn't this a similar to what it, I played? It, it's, it's the same position, right? Like after. Yeah. Take. I think, yeah, this also leads to that queen e4, takes, 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 and the same position. Okay. 
and here also like we're playing i thought it should be better because i have a lot of initiative like mm -hmm. uh it's it's i thought i was just better what he has is dark square control right bishop f6 knight e5 that's what he wants to achieve yeah but if you give me some time i'll just play h4 and g5 <laughs> you are you just push forward i'm not saying that it's completely worse for black but i'm just saying you know it's it's better for it <laughs> correct bishop f6 h4 knight c5 and here is the moment that I got, uh, I played some few in Akunzi and then it, it became around equal. Okay. And then also, as you said, I think I was a bit careless because, you know, like in the previous round I made, I am tight or something. Mm. And I just, I just didn't calculate much stuff here. Like I just played G5 without even thinking. Fine, but it and looks looks very natural. Bishop e5, and you played queen to c4. Yeah, and then you played queen d7. He, you should have played maybe queen f3 here. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I saw this was in stop mode, right? Some, something mm. like this. Yes. And and what is knight f4? If takes here. Uh, then you play rook h e1, just centralize uh, it. And I believe your plan is to go like knight d4 and knight c6. And somehow he is, as you said, king in the center. Yeah, and also he can't castle in both the sides. Like, mm. so it's too dangerous. Yeah, yeah probably I should have played this. I just didn't run. Yeah, in uh, these uh, two to three moves, I played extremely fast. You played queen c4, then in came the move. Uh, actually, she should have. Uh, he should have played b5. Here. Oh yeah, yeah. Like after playing queen c4, I thought uh, I don't know what to do for b5. Like it, it was very scary. Like a b5, b5, queen b5, and king f8 or something. On I play knight d7. Yeah, maybe king knight d7 or maybe even king. Yeah, d8. and you you play something and then queen a7 was coming. Yes. Exactly. So. I have to play something like c3 and king c2 and all the stuff, but it was very scaring, but he didn't, uh, luckily he didn't play it. Yeah, he but. he went queen d7. I think he's trying to prepare b5 perhaps, but... Or yeah, just... and also he wants me to exchange the knights so that he can put a rook on b5. But you were more than happy you took one take. Yeah, no, I was not happy because, you know, like comparing to like the like five moves before, like the portion I had was completely better, but here it's not. Mm. He's just going to play rook b8 and you know uh, to keep the rook on the b5. So I was not happy at all, like after taking on c5, but I had no other option. But you went c3 and you're now preparing. Yeah, the other option was to put the pawn on b3. Like I have to choose a, uh, either b3 or c3. Mm. But I thought c3 would be good. But uh, because uh, if I play B3, he'll have root B8 and root B4. Right. And uh, it will be very annoying. Maybe not now, but uh, once you play something like A5 or something, and then ah, I'm not day. sure. And then prepare it. Yeah, so I played C3. You went C3, rook queen B7, rook H E1. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, like he has a lot of counterplay. You can just take take and play in the two. That's what he did. Now he's yeah. threatening mate in one here on b2. So yeah. you saved it, uh, rook e2. And then came the move rook b8. And yeah, d2. Rook d2. Queen e7. Yeah, and here you should have played g6. Right? That's the only move. Hmm. And then he could have played queen e7. But maybe you would have taken this pawn or... Ah, he has c3. C3, right? Take, yeah. take c3. Oh, no. Because check, no? Oh, yeah. And then no, there's you rookie. can take... Ah, okay. Rook b5, rook e2. Rook e2 and then take on b5. So maybe it was... 
Queen A6 was a strong move here. One second. No, it was not working for some reason. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe G6, Queen A6 was strong. So perhaps he said, let me go and attack the G5 pawn. But then you just pushed it forward. Very nice move. G6. Yeah, like I just wanted to take on A6, but uh, <clears throat> but yeah, like you can just play G6, F G6, and then you can take so that the pawn structures will be weak for black. Yes. So I just played G6. And also your bishop can now go and perhaps sit here on at some point. Yeah. Needed. So Queen G5. Mm -hmm. Take and take. Rook C2. Rook C2. Yeah, and here. He just blundered by playing with b6. And, uh, like, I don't, yeah, he told me, like, after the game, he missed a5, rook b5, and queen a4. Ah, he missed queen a4. Yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, very easy to see, but uh, I don't know why he missed it. But uh, if he goes back to stop queen b7, then... can you just take? Yeah, I can just take or you can play queen g6, anything. Mm, that's correct. So, rook b8. Yeah, and uh, I can just take on a6. And this pawn is very strong. Yeah, it's like, it was like, it was strong. And after this, I think it was a clean game. check. King a2. Queen goes back. Check. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, the pawns are just going to go. And here there was some, some tricks. Just a trick. Ah, yeah, there was something like, uh, instead of king of faith. Yeah. He could have played uh, bishop c3. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, like, uh, if rook c3, you'll have to play bishop f3. But uh, if rook c3, c b4, something like rook e3, rook a5, or something like this. This is something that I have to calculate. Right. But uh, but bishop f3 was strong. After yeah. bishop c3, bishop f3. Yeah. And if rook so a7. Like and then. Then you can take and then there's this check additionally. Yeah. And then if this is just completely. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, and I, you just need to be careful of these kind of tricks. But, yeah, after King of I think it was just uh, something really. You attack here, c4, king c2. Now d5 is hanging, so he played d4. Yeah. Uh... Take rook d4 and now rook e2. Rook d3. Okay. Yeah, just take on. E7 and a6 is coming up next and he resigned. Yeah. Very smooth win here, uh, Savita. Apart from that middle, like two, three moves, you played brilliantly and you won the game. Um, and with this also, uh, you you are going up the, the ladder. Uh, Savita, I was I was recently, you know, I interviewed um, Divya. She became an IM. She became the Asian champion. I think Vantika also has become an IM. You are doing amazingly well. Uh, so is Vaishali now uh, going towards her GM title. How how do you see this thing in uh, in Indian women's chess or you can say girls' chess because. Earlier, it was a lot about Hampi Harika being the top two players of the country. But now all of you are also moving forward and, and doing so well. Yeah, it's uh, just great. And, uh, and I just hope that we will be doing a lot better in the future. Like, uh, you know, just to reach, uh, increase a lot of ratings or getting here. Title. I just hope you all do well. D does does their performance motivate you? 
yeah sometimes if i see their games or uh, if they do well you know that uh, it always motivates you if other person is doing that yeah it does motivates me nice that's so nice that's uh, that's the kind of thing uh, that is needed the positive uh, sort of uh, element where each one is trying to push each other forward and i think that's happened a lot in uh, the youngsters like the boys chess right because if we see uh, prag gukesh nihal arjun raunak all of them pranav leon they all are trying to move forward and go towards 2700 and so on right yes and i hope we can also do the same and uh... exactly and you are yeah. you are one of the the right now at the highest rating so savita that's amazing what's next in store for you what are you going to play i think we will be playing one more tournament in spain uh and uh, after that i am not sure so so are you coming back now to india or yeah like the tournament starts in a week so oh. i had a uh, 67 days gap so i'm going back and then we pick up oh this time which one is that tournament in spain boril uh, benasco i think oh benasco open okay nice that will be very yeah. nice and then i think later in the year there will be many more tournaments are you going to play the world cup or i have not got any invitation uh, yet okay. so i am not sure but i i think the another batch will be taken the, this month end right ah you mean by the rating right yeah by the way i'm not sure but i would be happy to yes it would be amazing if you get to play there and of course there'll be tata steel chess india then later in the year there'll be many other events as well savita uh, wish you all the best and a huge congratulations for achieving your second im norm we all will wait for the third one because when you get that you'll already be an im you already crossed 2400 yeah i also hope so i'll get it good luck Thank you.